don't have any time for any gossip now. Eh? Yes. Hey guys, we are back for another video. Make sure you guys hit that notification bell so you are notified when we do upload videos. Also, make sure you are subscribed. When I look at the data, I have more people unsubscribed that watch the video. So make sure you guys subscribe. There's no charge. Make sure you also hit the notification bell and hit the thumbs up and as always let me know what you guys think in the comments so we're going to jump right in we're talking about british williams i've already updated you guys and let you know that british williams received four years prison term for her um you know she was involved in you know different frauds and just a whole bunch of different stuff go and check out that video but the reason that i'm back to talk more about her is because apparently she had an attorney that she fired it wasn't working out whatever the situation was she got a new attorney well the old attorney that she fired and she let go Honey, this man is all on social media running his mouth. Now, my issue with this is it's totally unprofessional. And whatever happened to attorney-client privileges? Um, I don't know if I want to use the word privileges. That's not what I meant. But when you have an attorney, it's like something called, I don't know the correct verbiage, but it's client attorney something not privileged that was the incorrect word but my concern is why is her lawyer bashing her on social media it is so unprofessional but i knew y'all wouldn't believe it so i got the video we need to get into this video so let's watch the video and as always we're going to come back for commentary you guys got to hear what this man was saying and then we're going to come back for commentary. Let's play the video snippet and then we'll come back for commentary because you're not going to believe this. British Williams was sentenced to four years in prison yesterday in federal court in St. Louis. Uh, British Williams is a low level reality TV star. She was on Basketball Wives and um, Couples or Rehab or Therapy or something like that. A couple of low level shows like that. Um, I initially represented her on the case. Unfortunately, she was just one of those clients that she wouldn't listen to me. She wouldn't understand strategy that I was talking to her about for her case, um, just things that are best practices went on pretrial release in federal court and when any case is pending. And eventually we chose to not continue the representation. I went my way and she went her way and she hired another attorney out of Chicago. The four year sentence of her yesterday is getting absolutely hammered for a first offense white collar case, uh, especially in front of that judge. Great sentencing judge, great judge overall, um, but really, this is what happens when you don't listen to your lawyer, when you don't want to kind of change your ways, take responsibility when you have a case pending, especially in federal court. And I believe that that's. OK, guys, so you heard that video snippet. Let's really get into this. First of all, what kind of attorney goes on social media to bash his ex client client? This is just totally unprofessional. And then he refers to her as someone that was on low level reality shows. So basically he's trying to really discredit her and pretty much say that she's not nothing. He's referred to her several times as she was on a low level reality show. And then if you guys don't know, I think she was on like a boot camp or something like that. Um, but to, say that she was a low level reality star i'm not sure why he needed to use those choice of words um and then he's you know basically saying that he initially represented her and she was one of those clients that would not listen to him because she didn't understand strategy about her case um she didn't understand best practices um and then he just basically said they chose not to represent her. And then he stated that she got an attorney out of Chicago and basically she was hammered with four years um, and basically is laughing in her face by saying, you got the four years because you did not listen to your lawyer. Um, so I'm just like rubbing my head, like what in the entire ghetto hood rat 
attorney is this? Like this just makes no type of sense. Like this guy is a total redneck. I'm not sure why would he be describing anything with regards to her as low level um, because she's not low level. And I, I just didn't like the verbiage that he used when referring to her. I mean, she was on Basketball Wives. That is the name of the show. Um, but to refer to her as low level, that was really, really getting on my nerves, especially as a white Caucasian man to refer to a black woman um, as a low level. She's on low level shows as if he's better. So that, that was a problem for me. Um, this guy gave me a serious headache, especially, um, you know, considering that he had done business with her and people leave their lawyers all the time and go get other lawyers. That That's no biggie. And the fact that she didn't understand strategy and she didn't understand this, that is your normal client. Like she didn't go to law school. The fact that he's saying she didn't understand whatever it is that she didn't understand, that's fine. And I think that is totally, you know, unprofessional that he is coming at her in such a manner. It doesn't matter if, you know, she is no longer his client and what else has happened to her case. I don't know if there's any lawyers out there, but it seems like this guy should be in some type of trouble um, just because he's coming out, running his mouth. Um, she may not want the public to know that she was on lawyer too. Obviously, there's nothing wrong with that. If you get a lawyer that you feel is not going to be able to represent you in the manner that you see fit, then you should get a new lawyer. But the fact that he is out here clout chasing is what he's doing clout chasing at his finest um probably looking to see if he can get some more clients because we don't care to hear this story we just do not care um so I, i'm not sure what his aim was but anywho um we know that you know british did receive four years i'm not sure how it goes with federal time i don't know if it you know if she would you know, do all the time or if she would get some time off. I really don't know, uh, but really wanted to just bring this up because when I saw her weird lawyer on the neighborhood talk and all over TikTok, I was just like, what has the world come to? You are a lawyer, you take an oath and you are dragging your own client because she decided to get a new lawyer. I mean, if that was her decision, the fact that she got four years or whatever her, you know, her sentence was, you shouldn't even be speaking on it publicly. And I mean, I, I, I don't know. You guys let me know what y'all think in the comments. Do you think this is like totally, totally unprofessional? Just imagine you having to get a lawyer to defend you against something and then you find out, your lawyer is actually um, talking about you on social media. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.